let's talk about tilter cages for your FX3 and FX30. Hello Epic YouTubers, Mike here and today I'm gonna be talking about you know boring cage stuff but I think it's going to be helpful because Cages are personal preferences, but you know, a lot of cages have different location on certain holes or mounts and stuff like that. And I just wanted to talk about my experience that kind of frustrated me while I was using my FX3 with the Tilta cage. Uh, I'm not making this video to tell you that Tilta sucks or whatever, but I really like it and I'm still using it. It's just that little things that I found over time that I was using that you might not see it until we actually use it. So hopefully it will help you guys out. So the first thing that I want to mention, I actually bought the whole basic kit, which comes with a handle and a base rig with rods. So let's talk about the handle first. So this is the handle that you get when you buy the kit. It just has basic you know, holes where you can uh, mount your other stuff. And it has two cold shoe top and bottom. It does have safety release, which is good. And what this thing has is it has a button in the middle where you can turn it, the orientation of the handle. And this becomes useful when, you're, when you have it on your cage. Let me just show you real quick. You can hold it like this, or if you wanna shoot vertical content, you click on this top, turn it, and you can sh hold it like this with other grip on the side. And the thing that I actually had, wasn't really comfortable with this handle was, the actual handle was very short. So basically you're holding it with your two fingers. Yes, you can hold it like this, latching your fingers in the middle, but over time, if your rig is heavy enough, this thing gets a little bit um, tiring. And my hands are pretty small. So even I do latch my finger here, here, you can see that I'm actually still holding it with only like two fingers compared to like handles like these where it has a deep grip. It feels a little bit more secure when you're holding the camera. I wasn't really happy with the handle that came with it. So I'm using the smaller, small rig one. And another problem lies on the top um, mountain piece or whatever. When you attach this, it will give you a cold shoe like how it is on the actual camera. But the problem is this thing right here, first of all. These two on the top are NATO rails. So you can use something like this where you can tighten like a clamp easily while after sliding into the NATO rail. But the problem is when I try to slide in this handle right here, this part, this thing where it says Tilta gets in my way. It will prevent this thing to slide to the middle. And it's probably because how this handle is made, it gets hit right here. So something that you can overcome this is by unscrewing the little name right here and it actually comes off. Um, so you can do that and then actually mount your needle rail handle. But here's another problem with that how NATO rail works is they actually latch onto these things but when there is something missing in the middle you can't actually hold anything because there's nothing that will hook onto so when I attach it and try to mount this and screw it on there to latch there's still a play because basically it's not really holding onto anything so you're kind of stuck on using a screw on handle unless you get like another natal rail to, you know, make it across to the other end. The one of the main thing that actually frustrated me the most are the cold shoe uh, where it was positioned. But the problem is 
this part right here. This cold shoe will be used for like microphone, mounting your microphone, or maybe a little bit of a light or even your monitor. But the problem with this is because of this part right here, this top part, it prevents anything to be fully mount to this cold shoe. For instance, if I want to mount a mic on top of here and I push it in, you know the mic where you tighten the bottom to the cold shoe, it will get in the way, this will get in the way of tightening your mic. And another example is if you're using, let's say, DJI wireless microphone or Rode Wireless Go, you won't be able to attach your receiver here because this will get in the way, this top portion. And yes, you can probably take the top portion out and just have it on there, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having this full cage. And the third problem that I faced was basically it only applies to people who use Arca Swiss. So when you see the bottom, this is actually a Arca Swiss compatible cage thing on the bottom. But when you buy the basic kit, it comes with a Manfrotto base plate where you have to screw it on the bottom of your tilted cage, which will go on top of your base rig cage. But the problem is if you're using Arca Swiss, you want to be efficient where you can take it off from the cage and then put it on a gimbal or a tripod, whatever. But because the actual base only takes Manfrotto, it was a problem. So what I did was I actually looked for an adapter or another Manfrotto base place that will convert to, you know, Arca Swiss. I don't know why I tried so many, it didn't work. So what I found was an adapter that will screw on to the base plate. So the base plate will always be there. So I'm just unscrewing the adapter in order to put the camera back and forth. And yes, it does make the rig a little bit taller, but so far that's the best solution I found. And another problem with that solution was because the adapter was the base plate, Arca Swiss, was so wide that when I mount this, this thing got in my way. So I couldn't really center my rig. It was kind of like to the side. So in order to overcome that, I just had to take the right part out and just make this into a half cage. It was hard to get the actual piece, right piece, because that Manfrotto plate, it had like a different, like weird distance to screw on so i have to find the right one that will actually fit so yeah those are the three main problems that i had i'm not trying to say tilt a cage is bad i still love it but yeah so that was it for me today hopefully you guys like my content if it was helpful please give me a like and if you guys want to see more camera related content in the future please subscribe and push that notification bell and until then i'll see you guys next time Peace.